everybody, I am Dominic Williams and this is my vlog. So recently I had the opportunity to go to a really sweet Japanese arcade. It was a really rad place. All the machines were like in Japanese and stuff and they had all these just just a bunch of bunch of cool stuff. They had a really sweet like storefront area that had like collectibles and figures and, and trading cards and apparel and posters and all kinds of stuff. All very nerdy, all very cool. So it was a grand time all around. So the arcade was free play. You paid eight bucks and you get the whole night to free play all of the machines in the building. Entered coins? <laughs> I think not. <laughs> Slap the button, you're back in. It's a lot of fun. It's kind of cheating, but it was really fun. Dual wielding, Silent Hill. Ah, that was, that was fantastic. It was one of the funnest things I've done in a very long time. I felt like Vash the Stampede in a donut shop. It was freaking amazing. There's a car going on outside. And this microphone's gonna pick that crap up. It was a semi truck. Well, dang. So this grand time of arcading led me down a brain trail to other times in my life that I have enjoyed arcades and that led me down a completely separate brain trail. It was like a little, a little brain path that was kind of like muddied over and had some grass growing through it and stuff. It, it's been a while since anyone's been there. But it led me to Magic Mountain, which has a fantastic arcade and as a kid was one of the coolest places on earth. Nothing was as cool as walking into Magic Mountain and there's just like, <gasps> There's stuff everywhere. There's hundreds of arcade machines. There's a big climbing thing. Laser tag. <gasps> Go karts. Pot pot. I love that place. I still love that place. But I have said all of this to bring me to my story now. It is when I was a Wii child. Wii is in small, not a crappy game console. <laughs> and the funny thing about this whole thing is that was just an example of my thought process that led me to this memory. It actually has nothing to do with the arcade side of Magic Mountain. <laughs> Tricked you! <laughs> Tricked me too. It's actually about the playscape, the climbing thing, the, the thing with all the foam pads and the slides and all kinds of crazy stuff. So the Magic Mountain that we used to go to when I was a kid had these like little cannon thingies and like you would put like uh, ball pit balls in them and like little air power like boom and they go firing out and they shoot back down into the kind of open middle area of the climbing palace so i was in there i was probably like i don't know nine or ten maybe years old and i remember being in there having just having a ball ball pit and seeing this man there was an adult in the playscape and he was bald and he was large and he was mean looking so i had to do something about that this injustice could not stand the day may come when we let adults into our playscape but that is not this day so we got a bald man we got air cannons and we got nine-year-old me <laughs> so i scale up the playscape Diving through the ball pits, Assassin's Creed pushing kids aside as I race through the playscape to get to one of the ball cannons. Mind you, there were three of them. I got to this one. Oh, I got a rip in my pants! So I get to the first one. I slap a ball in there. I'm like, oh, where's he at? He's down there. <laughs> Nail him right in his bald head. I'm up there laughing my head off because I think it's hysterical. And he looks up and he's like, So I dive, I just hit the deck. I just flop on down there. I'm gonna do the flop. Consequently, he did not see me. He was kind of upset about it. He's in a jungle gym full of children and balls. If he did not expect to get hit in the head with a ball, this man needed to be taught a lesson. He needed to be shown the ways of the world. And I was the man to teach that lesson. So I could have stopped there. Clearly this man was upset by this, but that's not what I did. I give it a second so he calms down and I race around the other side. And mind you, there's, you know, there, there's probably 50 kids in this thing. So there, I mean, he doesn't know who he was. Cannon number two. <laughs> and I peek up over the edge. And I see his shiny dome head. Pew, ping, bounces off his head. He's all like, <laughs> somebody's shooting balls at me. Balls at me. This is unacceptable. So then 
I run in my in my small child brain. I'm like, okay, there's three cannons. I can't go to the middle one now because he's gonna be expecting that crap. So I went back, circled my way around, back behind enemy lines, got to the first cannon again, stuffed the ball in there, poof, fired the projectile out. It screamed through the air and it plinks off of his head. He swirls around. Who oh, shoot at me? He's upset. So I'm laughing hysterically, and I'm like, all right, I, I gotta see this guy's reaction one more time. I peek up over the edge, and I see it. He is climbing into the playscape to come find me. He is hunting a nine-year-old down for throwing a ball at his head in a ball pit! This man's clearly deranged. So, I did what anybody would do. I ran the freak out of there. I got down as fast as I could, took the quickest slide down, ran for my life! out of that area, and I get out of there, barely escaping with my life, my very soul essence. Whew. And uh, ended up just hanging out in the arcade. So that's my story for the day. I hope you guys enjoyed it just as much as I enjoyed shooting that bald man in the head with shiny ball pit balls. And that's a whole lot of enjoyment. I'll tell you, if you haven't tried it, you should. That's all the time I have for today. So until we meet again, stay tuned, people. This is an attorney chair. It's stationary. So did you like that story? Would you like to hear more? Then go ahead and click that subscribe button. It certainly helps me out.